Hello everyone, this is Saad Ahmad and today I have brought another wonderful tutorial in which we are going to have a look at wonderful features of AI offered by Adobe. So one of the features offered by Adobe is Adobe Firefly which we are going to have a look and let's see what Adobe Firefly offers. Adobe Firefly offers multiple features where which you can see it generates text to image, it offers generative fill, text effects, generative recolor 3D to image and text to it. But in this tutorial we are going to have a look in depth of text to image feature. So let's get started so simply click on generate and here you can see the artwork that is created by a different artist by using the simple prompt so we are going to do the same so just for an example we are going to type red car on the beach realistic and you can uh, enter as many prompt as you can but let's keep it short for the first example okay so here you can see that it has given us four options and on the right hand side you can see the aspect ratio we can generate images in different proportions as per given dimensions we can also change the content type that is if you want art or in the form of photo and then there is style and different images if you want to give any reference image it can be uploaded as well so for this purpose we wanted to have a realistic photo so i am just clicking on the photo and generating again for now it has given us four options once again and that is in the square dimension so it is completely fine because we are going to play with additional AI features in Adobe Photoshop so I am just going to pick up this first image click on it and from here you can click on the copy image this image is of very much good resolution that is around 2048 by 2048 pixel but we can scale it up more using Adobe Photoshop so here we are in the Adobe Photoshop make sure that you have the updated version of Adobe Photoshop I have just created a new document and pasted the image over here okay, now we are going to play with additional features of AI in Adobe Photoshop so if I want to have the increase the width of the image I can simply grab the crop tool and by holding the alt key i can drag it like this make sure that the generative expand option is selected over here and then click on this tick mark so what it will do it will generate the additional portion of the image according to the style okay so you can see that it has beautifully expanded the entire image and here on the right hand side you can see three variations click on the second one this is the second variation this is the third one so I believe third variation looks better to me uh, so we are going to add some more objects or things in the same image what you have to do just grab the lasso tool from here just make selection over here as this is a picture of a beach so we can add paragliding or parasailing anything you can type and it will generate some artwork for you Okay, so it had generated the paraglider in the background and all three options look good. Let's stick to the second one. Okay, one more thing if you can if you can't see this contextual taskbar here, so you can always go to window and hide or unhide from here. But you can also make it fix by selecting the pin bar position so it will not move when you move the artwork. Okay, so let's add some more features to it. Uh, you have grabbed the lesser tool already. Let's create some more things. You can add let's suppose beach hurt. Okay, but, but these options are not good, so we are going not going to use them. So let's add some beach chairs with people. Okay, so it has given us an option of a beach chair as well. So the artwork is looking very much fine for me. So just let's add one more thing. I'm just going to flatten the merge layers. Add some people around here. Uh, just I'm going to type couple. And it has beautifully inserted a couple here. Let me show you that this was the original picture and this is the updated picture. So you can see that within a matter of second we were managed to add as many objects as in the image without losing the quality. And if you want to expand it more you can always expand it by using the crop tool and simply generate it. The output is very much good. I'm going to like it. This is the second option. This is the third option. The third option looks fine. So let's do the final thing. Let's add one ship over here in the sea and let's see how is the output. So it has offered us three options once again. So this one looks fine. 
okay so the hardware has turned out to be very much good by using the generative fill features and let's flatten the image so this is the final image if you do not want anything in the image if you want to remove anything you can always grab the remove tool from here and just make the outer boundary from here let's suppose we do not want this chair it will magically remove the object from the image with the help of ai you can see that it has beautifully have done this if you want to change the style of this image so what we normally do that we make the selection and let's suppose we want the digital painting style and hit generate okay so you can see that we tried to make the image into a form of digital painting but it has given us some different output that is not desirable so you can call it as a bonus tip what you have to do press ctrl a to make the whole selection and then press q right and then hold the alt key and press backspace so it has made selection over your image and press the q key once again so it will give you a warning no pixels are more than 50 percent selected this the selection edges will not be visible but just proceed so what it has done it has uh, make the transparent selection over your image and now you create the digital painting style for this particular image so okay so it has transformed your image into a form of digital painting you can clearly see the effect of digital paint that was before and that was after so you can call it as a bonus tip to generate the different style for your particular image let's go through some additional features which you can use you can always go to filter neural filters and here you can find a couple of options that you can use to enhance your image to add effects to your image to add the different style for your image so you can always play with these features that also fall in the category of ai you can also zoom in the image two times three times four times and it will give you a very good results so i believe that this tutorial might be very much helpful for you if you are going to adopt the ai features and see you in the next video keep following keep sharing